Many technologies surpass their honeymoon phase. In the ever-evolving field of technology, it's common for once prominent solutions to lose popularity and be replaced by newer technologies. This cycle has been happening since the early days of programming languages and compilers. While it's normal for technologies to decline in popularity, what's really uncommon is for a technology to become almost completely and utterly obsolete. Today, we're going to embark on a journey filled with excitement and nostalgia. We're delving into the history of a language that once captured the hearts of web developers worldwide. Join me as we explore the rise, the peak, and the inevitable decline of this remarkable, dead and forgotten programming language. To understand the full story, we have to go back to before the modern web. In December 2009, a software developer named Jeremy Ashkenas aimed to design a language that would enhance JavaScript's readability and expressiveness, while maintaining compatibility with existing JavaScript code bases, thus giving birth to a language called CoffeeScript. CoffeeScript, the language that sparked a revolution in the JavaScript landscape, it rewrote the rules of code elegance and forever altered the way we write web applications. The primary motivation behind creating CoffeeScript was to address the shortcomings and verbosity of JavaScript. Ashkenaz sought to simplify JavaScript syntax, eliminating unnecessary boilerplate code and introducing new features inspired by other programming languages at the time, like Ruby and Python. For a while, CoffeeScript was the darling of the web development community, captivating the hearts and minds of programmers around the world. It became the go-to language, empowering us to create elegant, readable, and efficient code like never before. Some call it the old TypeScript because that's just how influential it was. The momentum was unstoppable and CoffeeScript soared to unimaginable heights of popularity and success. Akin to modern TypeScript, CoffeeScript transpiled directly into JavaScript, serving as one among several alternatives to vanilla JavaScript. It aimed to alleviate the dissatisfaction with the existing syntax. Alongside CoffeeScript, languages like ElmScript and PureScript emerged as solutions at the time, persisting even to this day. And during its early stages, CoffeeScript, like many innovations to establish languages such as JavaScript, evoked mixed reactions. Some embraced it with optimism, foreseeing its potential to replace JavaScript entirely, while others held a more pessimistic view, anticipating that CoffeeScript would soon be superseded by an even more advanced alternative, or dismissing its syntax improvements as unnecessary and futile. Despite all of this, however, in 2011, CoffeeScript was one of the most followed projects on GitHub. At the time, it enjoyed relatively high popularity in the Ruby developer community. A large part of the CoffeeScript supporters said that their code ran faster and that it was three times shorter than JavaScript code. At its peak popularity, platforms like GitHub itself, Shopify, Square, and CodePen all at one point made use of CoffeeScript in their code base. The Atom editor that is no longer available was also written in CoffeeScript. Through its creation, Electron.js was born, thus translating to the VS code that we have today. Also created with Electron, Spotify, Discord, and other companies all use Electron as well. All of these technologies technologies came about with the indirect help of CoffeeScript. If anything, the mere existence of CoffeeScript exists in fragments of the Atom editor, the same editor responsible for the Electron framework. All of these technologies, like it or not, came about with the indirect help of CoffeeScript. At CoffeeScript's peak, it was reported to have been used on 1,797 different sites, a relatively small number by today's standards, and arguably even at the time, but still remarkably notable. Even the JavaScript founder himself, Brendan Eich, said over time that CoffeeScript had a significant impact on his thoughts about the future of JavaScript. But as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. As the winds of change blew through the programming landscape, a formidable rival emerged, ECMAScript version 6, bringing with it a wave of enhancements that addressed many of the concerns CoffeeScript set out to solve. ECMAScript version 6 was the beginning of the end for CoffeeScript. CoffeeScript was one of the first languages to introduce the notion of arrow syntax, which happened to be introduced in ES6. With many new features added to the native language, many didn't see the value of going through build steps when they could just easily use JavaScript by itself. Developers faced a choice, embrace the native improvements of JavaScript, or continue down the CoffeeScript path. But unfortunately, as time went on, the CoffeeScript path continued to become a more treacherous path to take. With the rise of NPM, and the general trend towards using front-end frameworks and libraries, CoffeeScript's incompatibility with many of these technologies made it difficult or 
impossible to use in several scenarios. Either the library would have to be altered specifically to support integrating with CoffeeScript, or in many cases the library would simply fail to work altogether. Since CoffeeScript didn't have enough popularity to warrant many authors spending time on integrating with CoffeeScript, most libraries simply did not play nice with CoffeeScript, and it no doubt further led to the decline of the language. Developers would have to choose between library and ecosystem support, or using a second citizen transpiled language. For many, the choice was obvious. While some held on to their love for CoffeeScript, the majority began to explore new possibilities, shifting their focus to the more powerful TypeScript, which combined the best of both worlds, static typing and incredible tooling support. While CoffeeScript offered a cleaner syntax and aimed to address some of the challenges of JavaScript, TypeScript went beyond syntax improvements and provided a robust type system, tooling, and ecosystem support that some attribute to having revolutionized JavaScript development forever. TypeScript, as a superset of JavaScript, offers several significant benefits over traditional JavaScript and in many ways surpasses what CoffeeScript brought to the table. The final nail in CoffeeScript's coffin was the lack of development, progress, and support from the developers working on the project. As time progressed, the language continued to see slowing and declining growth, with almost no added features in years. Most updates to the language were simply to keep up with changes to ECMAScript itself, not improvements to CoffeeScript. While the CoffeeScript repository still remains active even to this day, the love and support for the project are not what they once were. Even if something isn't popular, having a strong community can make something great. When that community starts to die out, that's when the project truly dies. And so the once booming CoffeeScript began to fade into the background. Its usage declined and its prominence waned, leaving behind cherished memories and a legacy that will forever inspire future languages and innovations. Once a brilliant idea that aimed to revolutionize JavaScript, CoffeeScript became nothing more than an obscure, exotic language that no one really even talks about anymore. Early on, it captured the hearts of developers, promising a brighter future, yet as time marched on, its presence gradually faded away. Today, the memories of CoffeeScript seem to drift off into the realms of forgotten technologies. Its name scarcely whispered, if ever, in the front-end world. A new generation of developers, unaware of its existence, walk a different path. Every ending is a new beginning. CoffeeScript may have been overtaken by other solutions, but its spirit of elegant simplicity and the pursuit of better programming lives on. Its influence can be seen in the technologies that followed, like TypeScript, which picked up the torch and carried it forward to new horizons. CoffeeScript's legacy, once so promising, now rests in the realms of nostalgia, a testament to the ever-changing landscape of technology.